Today I'm here with my dad and we're going to be building a DIY barnwood headboard. I've been looking at headboards for a long time for my bed and when me and my dad were looking, some of the ones we looked at were like $1,000 and this one is going to cost you us a total of $7. So, yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Tell me the measurements on your bed. My bed is 60 inches by 33 inches. 60 inches. 33 inches, right? Yep. And you want it to be the headboard to come off just a little bit, right? Yep. You want how, how far below do you want it to sit? I think it should probably be sitting three inches below your bed and maybe three inches out on each side. Okay. Does that sound good? Yeah. So we need 66 inches by, I think we can actually take the width of these boards. These boards are 11 and a quarter. Where are they, 11 and a quarter? by three is 33 and three quarters, which I think is the perfect, it'll be the perfect. And you want this to sit from floor, you want it to sit at least 60 inches, right? Yep. Right around 60 inches. Okay, let's go do it. All right. This piece in the wood right here actually made this piece of wood less valuable, but I love this piece and we are going to make it the focal point of the headboard. Step number one, Cut the wood. <laughs> Don't slip and fall. It's heavy. Okay, you're gonna set it flat right on there. Carefully get your both ends up. We've marked the wood at exactly 66 inches and we're going to start sawing. Lost again, going back around. This piece of wood is 66 inches by a little over 11 inches. And we need three more pieces of this. Lost in the shadows of a million stars. So my philosophy is embrace the imperfections. You know, the, the, the cracks, the things that classify this as a grade lower are the things that we like about it. These two pieces of wood right here were scraps that my dad cut and they're four inches by 60 inches. And we're going to use them to secure the three pieces of wood together. We've been able to do this all with scrap pieces of wood that we've had. After looking at this, I decided that I wanted my headboard to hit six inches higher. So we added this extra six inches right here at the bottom. We have the supports all laid out. We put them a foot in so that they would be hidden by the boards and we are going to nail them now. I don't want the nails to show in the front, so we're nailing it in the back at an angle so that you won't be able to see the nails. We're using two and a half inch galvanized nails and by shooting them at an angle, I'm hoping it doesn't come out the front side. Part of the reason is this is the only nail that I have with me up here. But the other part is this is a lot of nail that should hopefully uh, keep it in place for a long time. Same look of the wood, and we're just going to be 
making it all the same consistency and getting rid of things like this that are from the sawmill. trim pieces, two on the top and some on the side. That way it gives it a prettier look and also so I can put things on it, hang lights from it, and anything like that. My dad just threw these two pieces of scrap wood on the top of it and I like the way that it looks so this is all that we're going to do to the top of it. We have about 25 to 30 minutes put into this thing and under $10 and I'm already in love with it and we haven't even done the staining yet. So we played around with a few different color stains and the dark walnut is the color that I chose. It's a really dark brown but it's not so dark as to where it's black like the other one was and yeah. So we're ready to go? We're ready to go. <laughs> the stain on it and it looks like this it looks beautiful the only other option is we could put a big heavy coat of clear coat on it but I like the rustic and rough looking vibes I think this turned out so beautiful in less than an hour we made this with under ten dollars no proper equipment no shop just out here <laughs> now we're gonna go put it behind the bed <laughs> 